Dan. Well, the 150th run for the Roses is now in the record books with Mystic Dan crowned as the winner. Trainer Kenny McPeak, who had never previously won a Kentucky Oaks or Derby, now joins an elite group, the third trainer in history to win them both in the same year. Sports director Kent Spencer and chief photojournalist Philip Merle take us to the winner circle. An epic finish fitting for the 150th running of the Kentucky Derby. Kenny McPeak, Brian Hernandez Jr. picking up their first ever victory in the run for the Roses. And they become the first trainer jockey to pull off the Oaks Derby double since 1952. Kenny, how agonizing was that photo? Not at all. I was standing next to a monitor over here and I could see the photo. I mean, you, they had slow motion right to the wire, so I think I was maybe a minute or two ahead of everybody. But I felt like even watching it live that, that we got his head down. It was, it was unbelievably close, because when I got to the 16th pole, I'm like, oh, wow, I'm going to win the Kentucky Derby, but my horse was running. And then when we hit the wire, those horses, they surged really quickly late, and I'm like, oh, God, did we lose? Did we win? Did we win? And we pulled up at the, at the outrider, Greg Blasey, and I'm like, Greg, did I win? Did I win? And he's like, they haven't said anything yet. And then he goes, yeah, you won. But then they didn't hang the number for like a couple more minutes. And I was like, I told him and Donna Barton, I'm like, this is the longest two minutes of my life. It was the fastest two minutes a little while ago. Now it's the longest two minutes. <laughs> Brian, has this weekend just been a dream come true? This is the weekend uh, that I don't think a Disney movie can be made of. It's, uh, it's unbelievable. You know, I, I always dreamed of winning the Kentucky Derby when I my. My grandparents have a, uh, a photo of me when I was six years old. I used to ride around in my dad's jock pants on my bicycle telling him I was going to win the Kentucky Derby someday. So to, uh, to be able to do this with, uh, with Kenny and all our family here, it was, it's unbelievable. You know, even tomorrow morning, we got, we've got work to do. But um, yeah, it's pretty darn special. Nick Peek said after the race, his Oaks winner, Thorpedo Anna, will definitely not run in the Preakness. As for Mystic Dan, his new Derby champion, they'll just have to wait and see, but nothing is a given. Reporting at Churchill Downs, Ken Spencer, WHAS 11 News. And here's what the payouts look like for picking this year's winners. A $2 bet would have netted you 39 bucks if you had Mystic Dan winning, 16.32 to place and 10 bucks to show. Sierra Leone coming in second would have gotten you just over 650 and if you bet the horse to show, it would have put you just over 460. A $2 bet on Forever Young to show would have gotten you 558. A $2 exact bet would have netted a whopping $258.56, while a 50 cent trifecta bet would have given you $556.92.